Show us the Father, and we shall be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you do not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak of my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe in me that I am. Thank you, Dawson. And Dawson got recruited last minute because I think initially I was supposed to be the liturgist. Um, so he just saved you from having to hear me even longer. Someone 
with Delaware plates who needs to try and run me off the road. <laughs> Got to get there in a hurry. Uh, maybe that's why they were the first state. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We aren't really supposed to talk politics here in church, but I have to say I can't be the only one that's frustrated by, a, shall we say, a lack of choices coming this November. Um, for small local seats, when I'm not excited about any of the candidates, I typically write myself in. Um, however, that seems quite silly for a president. I don't think that's going to work out. Let's see. Uh, with softball, I am the 4A East Region Director and District 5 Representative of the State Softball Committee. Now that sounds like a lot, but really it just is another way of saying I'm a sucker who couldn't say no. <laughs> um, with that job, coaches and athletic directors are supposed to send me their scores and things like that, especially during playoff time. Uh, this becomes quite frustrating because it seems like not everybody takes their job as seriously as I do and having to track those folks down the night before so that we can do our seating. Um, like I said, it's just very unnerving. Um, it's not even a paid position. I had Carrie bring this for me. The only thing I got out of it, and you'll see what I mean here in a second, <laughs> is quite possibly the ugliest <laughs>
Pastor Kathy and the leaders of this church have opened up so many opportunities to serve simply just here in Mayo. Whether it be Sunday school, worship, working in the garden, uh, committees, activities that we have planned for really all ages, a Bible study, working in dinners, singing in the choir with attitude. We need more attitude in the next couple of songs. I feel like she would want to say that, so we better throw that out there. Um, any of these things, we're starting something new here at church. Any way to outreach, not just within ourselves, but this community. There is something at Mayo United Methodist Church that you can do to serve the Lord. I think that bears repeating. There is something at Mayo that you can do to serve the Lord. So this Pentecost, I would like us to try and end your frustration with life and begin appreciating everything in life. Feel satisfied by loving one another, being patient with one another, and serving one another. Amen. And we have our next hymn, if everybody wants to stand. See, that was nice, right? Short, to the point. <laughs> <laughs>